In this video, we're going to introduce some of the basics of version control and in particular Git. We're going to utilize a system called Git that will track any changes in our project. So this is a Unity project that's called College Car. Inside of this, you can see um, you know, lots of folders with scenes and prefabs and whatnot. But right at the root, we're gonna have this folder called Git. And this just means that we have initialized uh, the start of a version control system inside of this folder. So this means that we have flagged this folder to start tracking changes. So that's the first thing, is, is setting up the version control system inside of the folder. The second thing to keep track of is all of your local changes. So you have to remember that if I make changes to any files inside of this project right here, so if I come in and I were to change this the script, then we would have modified our project and our version control system would show us. So in this case, if I go to uh, this college car project and I were to, um, let's just change a random script here. So we're just gonna go into the script and we're just gonna make a change. In this case, it's gonna be super, super simple. And I'm just gonna add a comment and um, say toggle debug mode or something. We could make a more substantial change if we wanted, but in this case, we're gonna save it. And you'll see that inside of our version control system, it's flagging that there was a change. Um, and that's the power of this, is because if we wanna save this change and, and log it into the version control history, then now we can, we can return to any point in time from the last change we made, which is really cool. It's not just saving your project, it's saving versions of your project and uh, keeping track of your, your whole project history. So yeah, um, just be aware that if you, if you initialize Git inside of a, a folder, it'll start tracking all your project changes. The other thing to know about when it comes to version control is how we're interfacing with the system. Now, technically I have this window over here and uh, I can do a lot of things in regards to manipulating version control, but there's no reason why we can't open a command line and just start typing things in. Uh, and we can just manipulate our, our version control system just through command line and typing in functions to work inside of here. If you see these, these software, these systems like Git Kraken or um, some of these others like GitHub Desktop or Source Tree, these are just different interfaces to control our version our versioning system. We could control it directly and many people do, but I'm going to show you how to use Git Kraken just because I find it to be visually friendly and designer friendly um, compared to the others. And actually just to show you real quick, you can see how this looks and um, maybe something a little bit more complex. So you can see how Git Kraken shows us the timeline in a really kind of nice format. And we have our buttons over here. We can see a lot of stuff. We have some controls if we want to do some things, switch branches, whatever. Um, a lot of this isn't going to make sense yet, but this is Git Kraken. It's free. There are some pro versions that give you additional features if you want to sign up for a non-free version of Git Kraken. But for the basic stuff, we can really just use free. You also may hear about GitHub Desktop, which is sponsored by GitHub, which I'll talk about in a second. GitHub Desktop is just their software that works with it. You can see if I open this up, it's not as visually friendly. Um, we can still technically see changes for projects. It's harder to visualize what's happening. So it's really, I mean, it's it's simple. It's good if you just wanna track changes and, and see them right there. It's just not as easy on the eyes, I think. And it's just a, a little bit more basic, which is fine because they have some plugins that let you do some more um, advanced features. Uh, I think Git Kraken is a bit more powerful and more visually friendly. You're, and you also may hear about Source Tree, which is another uh, option for you, I think. Source Tree is entirely free and it's it's very powerful. You can see that it's it's right in the middle in regards to visually pleasing, technical and, and showing blocks of code and things. I look at it as, a, as an in-between. It's not very designer friendly to do some things, like to merge from one thing to another is very, you know, select one thing, do this and put in some checkboxes versus this, you can actually drag and drop on things, uh, which is kind of nice, but it, it's it's a pretty decent alternative too. In this series, we're gonna look at Git Kraken and how it works with Unity in particular. Some of the tutorials are gonna be only in Git Kraken and some may utilize Unity back and forth. But either way, I think it's worth doing a deep dive into one of the user interfaces. So let's let's back up. We we talked about there being a system inside of our folder that is tracking all of our changes. 
We talked about our, our local changes. So um, maybe we do some changes and we can track them all locally here. And we talked about our user interface. So this is just the interface by which we are sending commands to our version control over here. The last thing to remember is that with version control, we may want other people to see our changes and we may not want them to only exist on our computer. We wanna send them to a remote repository is what we would call it. It's gonna be a website and the most common one is GitHub. And this, this college car repository that we were looking at earlier, if, if I were to push my changes, in other words, send them over up to the remote, if I were to push those up here, then I could see them, other people could see them, and you could potentially have lots of different users pushing code to the same remote repository. So this is how you would work with other people. Individually, you could all be doing local changes and then pushing them up to the remote. You could combine all their changes into the project uh, repository. You have the system in here, in this case, Git, that's tracking the changes. You have your local changes, so you can actually make changes in here and it will be tracked. Um, we're using a user interface, or you could use command line if you want, to manipulate these changes and actually do things with them and, and track them. And then the last thing is we talked about our remote repository that we are um, sending changes up so that other people can see them. Or maybe just to back up our own files if we you know, decide to work from a one computer or another computer or whatever, they all exist remotely so I can just pull them down and continue to work. So that's just a, a really brief introduction into version control. I know it's gonna sound kind of confusing right now and, and there's a lot to think about, but I want a starting point so that when I start talking about how to, to initialize your Git in this folder, what that means, and then I start talking about how to change some files, what that means, and then I'll talk about like syncing with Git Kraken and putting it on the remote repository. I want you to have a little bit of context for all that. So um, if that seems a little bit overwhelming, it probably will be for now. And then we're gonna do a step-by-step -step on how to set up your own project into version control using Git Kraken and Unity.